Right now we're at Bliss Camp in the Mendocino Woodlands and um, what makes this different from a lot of big parties is that it's more of a retreat for visionary people, for artists, for musicians, and for conscious co-creators who have big visions of their ideal situation on planet Earth. And um, there's, the ter there's the term transformational festival or transformational culture, and the idea of that is that it's not just people coming together to have a big party, but it's people coming together to, of course, celebrate, but to celebrate life and the things that we love about life and the things that we want to see more of. And through that celebration, through sharing our art, our music, our workshops, our ideas, our gifts, we start to expand into the realms of what's possible and reach outside of the box of what we've been taught life is supposed to be like. As people come together to these gatherings, I've been seeing more and more they're also drawn to working with sustainable communities, sustainable farms, um, with all sorts of transformational projects and there's starting to be more and more overlap between actual grounded action and um, and people coming together together for these uh, festivals and celebration. There's kind of a sacred dimension it seems, like there's a spirituality would you, would you say with the oh, earth? Definitely a lot of spirituality um, connected with like Pachamama, Mother sorry. Earth, and then Father Sky, just connecting with all the elements. Um, and it's not so much a religion as it is just connection with spirit. And um, there's no no one's excluded. Everyone is invited to um, believe whatever they want to believe or embody whatever they want to embody. So is, is, what he said. <laughs> said. Part of the amazing news for me is that. There's kind of a blending of old and new, um, and by that I mean that these these festivals are, at least from my perspective, a new phenomenon almost of these frequent gatherings filled with like art and love and, and dancing and drumming and celebrating, and it creates so much inspiration for me. But then there is people who've been involved in, in activism and social movements for, I mean, centuries really, and there's yeah. so much guidance and history to learn from and there's mm. there's mentors and, and elders and and books and, and movements to learn from. So in much resource. Of, yeah, and for us. how people can come together and create yeah. a real change. So it's kind of blending that like new flavor of this time mm -hmm. with the with the wisdom of those who've gone before us. And that to me is the, the most powerful place. Do you think there's kind of a vision though for also just how complicated the world has gotten and how, and what we might be able to do to create a sustainable future? I mean, well, it's kind of scary for a lot of people. I, yeah, I've definitely spent a fair amount of my life feeling overwhelmed and even scared about the state of the world. Yeah. But what I see now is that we each have our role to play and then we don't have to play anyone else's role for them. Mm. So part of the, the evolution of the turning towards a different um, world is that we each have a unique way to contribute to that shift and that it's and that if each person is doing what they're meant to do collectively it will happen mm. in ways that I don't think my mind could put together right now mm. like um, in um, some communities like academia and like science there's this uh -huh. idea like prove how this will happen and then we'll do it right and to me it's like we don't know how it's gonna happen until we start and then it will become more and more clear. Wow, and a different method, a different methodology for a new. Yeah, it's almost like chaos theory. Like there's so much chaos. Yeah. And it will, and order and chaos are the same dance. They're two yeah. sides of the same coin. The protesting and all that is kind of like old news, and yeah. I feel like the new thing is these festivals, this beauty, and people like all of a sudden getting distracted from that and seeing something beautiful and creating new inspiration in their minds. So we're healed, now what? Let's let's do what we want to do. Let's, let's, let's dance, let's make music. Like, I literally feel like the world is changing every week. And it's like how to like keep stay grounded amidst this like very like I almost feel like I'm in a, a snowball rolling on a mountain. Where it's like I want to re I want change. I want the whole world to be shaken up and people to wake up and find and create this world but like literally doing it means never counting on things being the same again which is kind of intense like I feel like human I don't know just from my experience there's something very comfortable about like the same old same old like there's a comfort to it and there's a, an edge to like constant change like every week like new possibilities like new ideas the one thing that I heard 
that source or God or whoever, every like you know that that inner strength that everyone draws upon, it is always true to itself. It doesn't change. It doesn't change itself. It just is that and shines that. And so I feel like I want to embody that in my life and just shine that regardless of what's going on, so that people know that there's options. Like you, I know you have an academic ex uh, background uh, from going to UC Santa Cruz and be part of Stevenson in that realm. And, and I'm wondering, uh, you know, like the Gaia hypothesis and some of the theory really makes us, I don't know, deeply, more deeply engage on a conscious level. This whole transformational culture definitely taps into both the mythology and the science. And um, mm -hmm. it's exciting because the more we learn about science, the more we find that a lot of the mythological and spiritual concepts actually coincide with the scientific observations um, because the more we learn about science, the more we realize that there's more possible than the limitations um, mm -hmm. that were apparent in um, maybe not Yeah, it seems like we have a whole new vision of the universe right now. I yeah. mean, like the physics and the yeah. new cosmovision. It's an incredible time to, to be alive, honestly. It is. Just one example is even at this festival, Right, California is in this epic, epic drought, this really yeah. um, intense drought. And everyone at this festival is like talking about it and is aware of it because uh -huh. it's this beautiful dry creek bed. And yeah. because of the deep connection that a lot of us feel with the land here, you walk and you're like, wow, you can really feel how, how out of balance it is to yeah. have a beautiful green valley and then a creek, but it's completely dry. So wake up so, to the environmental... Yeah. So Eco like we're, ecosystem. Yeah, it's kind of like tuned in, and I'm sure that everyone here, if there was a concrete way for them to be active in conserving water or even um, using, uh, mitigating like climate change, which causes yeah. drought, they would all be super interested because it's like yeah. really feeling what it's like to see drought in in mm. the forest. Not so different than like a uh, only like a mind understanding. My other response to your question about is the world really complicated is. Our minds make the world really complicated. Mm -hmm. I think that the solutions are simple, and that in a, from one perspective, the world is simple. Like we all need the same basic things. I think most human beings all want similar things: of community and good food to eat, and people to eat it with, and a life that is fulfilling, free of like yeah. oppression and violence. Like we all want this. We all. I think that. Things are simple, and we and our minds make them very complicated. Or they are complicated from one perspective, but that perspective isn't a good one to take action from. If it just leads to more and more confusion and more and more being caught in this like wheel of mm. analyzing mm -hmm. the the system that we're in, so you can do a workshop. Yeah, it's possible. Um, yeah, I, I'm feeling like it's a good idea. We have people around us. Sustainability, um, permaculture. It's about how to create um, a thriving, just, and sustainable world. The workshop's called Generation Waking Up. And um, we actually dive deeper into all of these questions that you just asked us. In the cool, so, wow. So, Generation Waking Up. Yes. WXYZ. We're getting there toward yeah. <laughs> the, the baby bloomers. The baby bloomers. That's so, yeah.